beach results. Girls basketball kicks off. And boys bowling stays undefeated. All, All today, today on, on On The, the Air. Air. It's your boy Ed May. It's Antoine. On Saturday, the RHS beach team competed in Fishers and had several team members do very well. Angelique Patel and Julian Reeves took home top 10 finishes in novice discussion and Taylor Cruz finished in a top 10 in novice poetry. In varsity events, seniors Emma Williams and Jenna Wilson placed in the top 10 of poetry and drama. RHS's top finisher of the day was Justice Lewis, who placed fourth in poetry. The team will next be in action on November 19th. Practices this week are Monday and Thursday after school. All members should pick up a newsletter with an updated tournament schedule. On Friday, we told you about the dye escapes from Razor to help ourselves, the RHS food pantry, and the clothes closet. Remember, it's this Saturday night, and a portion of proceeds to go help ourselves. But did you know that ourselves isn't the only place where you can get help in the finding something to wear? Ourselves has some clothing and food for emergency needs for students about what, finding some nice clothes for a job interview or for a formal dance. Then you want the RHS prom store? This store has clothes you can use for a formal dance or even if you need to dress up for a job interview. It's located in the basement and if you need something, just see Mrs. Crow in the room next to the Four Corners Boys restroom to set up an appointment to see what they have to offer. They have lots of nice dresses for girls and nice dress clothes including ties for boys. The perfect thing if you want to impress on a job interview. So remember, there are other places you can get help right here at RHS. Now let's take a look at some announcements. Just a few reminders again today, we start with seniors getting to design their own class shirts. Seniors, remember you can compete to design this year's class t-shirt. Pick up a design from Miss Bunner in room R201. Design your shirt using red and white since the shirt will be black and submit it in the main office or to Miss Bunner in room R201. You have until November 11th to get designing. Attention RDMs, there will be a meeting next Monday, November 14th after school in Ms. Scheiben's room, R108. Make sure to start thinking of ideas for RDM logos and mottos. That's all your announcements, now back to you guys in the studio. A beautiful fall weekend and more of the same today, but it won't last. Let's get the full Red Devil forecast. Today should be just as nice as the last couple of days, and maybe even a little warmer, but rain moves in tomorrow and more cold temperatures after that. Highs today get near 70 with plenty of sunshine, but clouds move in later and they carry the m promise of rain tomorrow. Overnight, we'll cool down into the mid 40s and return to school tomorrow under cloudy skies. Showers hold off until later in the afternoon, but the chances are good we could have some rain as we let out of school tomorrow. Highs stay cooler, only reaching the lower 60s. As we move into Wednesday morning, the rain showers slowly move out and leave us with cloudy skies and a cool morning with lows dropping to the low 40s. A cooler temperature stick around for the rest of the day on Wednesday, with highs only in the mid 50s. Right now, the cooler temperatures stick around for the rest of the week, but check in with us again on Wednesday to find out for sure. I'm your weatherman Greg Lyons, back to you guys in the studio. I'm ready for some hot chocolate. Only a couple of sports in action this weekend, and one of them stays undefeated. Let's check the Red Devil Sports Report. That's right. The girls opened their season on Friday, and the boys' bowling team tried to keep their undefeated season alive on Saturday. RHS boys' bowling improved their record to 4-0 on Saturday with an 18-2 win over Knightstown. Junior Braden Schaefer led the way with games of 236 and 245, giving him a 481 series and earning him Conference Most Valuable Bowler honors for the week. RHS is back in action this Saturday as they take on Union and Tri. The Lady Red Devils will join them in taking on Tri and Rushville. On Friday, the RHS girls basketball team opened their season at home to take on a tough Indy homeschool team. The Lady Red Devils fought hard but fell 44-40. We'll have a few highlights from the game at the end of our show. The girls are back in action this Friday on the road in their first NCC game versus Anderson. That's sports, now back to you in the studio. That's our show. As we promised, here are a few highlights from the girls' season opening basketball game on Friday. And we also have some highlights from undefeated boys bowling team. Have a great day.